All right, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So today, we are once again here at the base of Todd the Blaster McQuinn, where we're going to begin doing our next round of upgrades, in which we'll be taking everything up to grade three. So we're gonna be upgrading everything that we've previously upgraded grade two, but now it's gonna go to grade three. And I have made one other modification to the ship. I have changed the beam lasers to pulse lasers, and there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that when we get to the dweller's base and upgrade those to grade three overcharged weapon because that's what we're doing today but right now what we're gonna do is refuel the ship because we've just landed and we haven't done that yet and then i just want to see if this actually does anything now that there has been another major update for this game so we're gonna go in here to the contacts panel and i have some alliance bounty vouchers to cash in i've got 1.3 million to cash in so we're going to do that at Todd the Blaster McQuinn's base and see if we've just earned any reputation with him. Let's open up the engineer's workshop and see if we're, uh, see if we're any more. Oh, look! Okay, we're actually at grade four. I wish I had known that was going to work, and if I had known that, I would have gotten materials for grade four upgrades, because I've only got materials for grade three upgrades right now. Handing in Alliance bounty vouchers to Todd the Blaster McQuinn increases your reputation with them. When I landed here, I was at grade three access, but then I turned in 1.3 million credits worth of bounty vouchers, and that was apparently enough to get us up to grade four access. So we've got that, and we're gonna be doing three multi-cannon upgrades today. So let me stop talking about it, and we'll actually just do this. Here we go. So we've still got our grade two overcharged weapon upgrades on each one of these, and I really didn't have anything else to put these multi-cannons on. Otherwise, I would have just, you know, gotten fresh ones and done some fresh upgrades to them. But that's okay. We're just going to overwrite these. I don't need them for anything else. It's fine. So we have all the materials that we need to do this. And guys, if you don't know, Frontier have also released an update that changes the way that materials and upgrades and stuff work. So I mentioned this in the previous video where we were doing some prospecting and stuff. But now... When you pick up a material, like in your SRV, or if you pick it up with your cargo scoop or, or a collector limpet or something like that, and you only pick up one of that item, you're actually picking up three of that item, so that's really cool. The other thing that they've changed are actually the requirements for the specific engineer blueprints. So now, pretty much everything costs quite a lot less. So we're gonna be doing the grade three overcharged weapon upgrade today. And so here are the things we need. We need one thing of nickel, we need one thing of conductive components, one thing of electrochemical arrays, and one thing of articulation motors. Now, I only have enough components to roll for each of these one time as usual, and I'm okay with that. I'll just take whatever it gives me. It looks like I'm gonna get, you know, a fairly decent outcome, I think. But you might be saying, well, Shadow, you've got five articulation motors, and it says you've got five available attempts. So we've got three multi-cannons we're about to roll for, and the overcharged weapon upgrades for the two pulse lasers also require one articulation motor each. So I actually have enough for one roll of each of those weapons. So let's just do this. Here we go. So we're gonna hit preview outcome. So it looks like our DPS can be increased by pretty decent margin, but it says our damage is actually going to be decreased. I'm not really sure why it would do that, but it doesn't look like it's a huge decrease. Like the maximum that it can go down is 3.41 and the, the midpoint that we should be at right now is 3.55. So that's weird, but everything else pretty much increases. Although I think this probably means decrease? I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comments. Does this mean on the thermal load and the jitter, does this mean an increase or a decrease? I kind of think for thermal load that since this is blue, it means a decrease. And I think for the jitter, since this is blue, it means a decrease and an increase in the rate of fire. If I'm right about that, let me know in the comments. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. But anyways, let's hit preview cost. And, or no, we already hit preview cost. Let's hit view cost and generate, and let's do this. So here we go, fingers crossed, and generate. Okay, that was pretty weird. So I hit view cost and generate, and then I hit generate, and this screen exited out, and it just said, please wait for like five minutes, and then nothing happened, and so now we're back here again. So let's just try it again. I don't I don't know what that was about. That was really weird. Maybe that was maybe that was like server communication error or something like that. I don't know. Let's hit generate and actually have it work this time. How about that? Okay, please wait again. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. All right, good DPS increase. And, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so my distributor draw has gone down. Ooh, my thermal load went up. What the hell? Oh, stupid secondary effects. Jesus, look at this. That was so crap. Oh my God, I got an experimental effect, guys. Emissive munitions, what is this? Experimental upgrade that causes strikes to envelop the target in energetic particles, significantly amplifying its signature at the cost of increasing heat generation for the attacker. What, okay, I'm not really sure what this does. Huh, that, that kinda doesn't tell me too much about it. It envelops the target in energetic particles. So, so what is the practical effect of that? Huh. I'm not really sure. It amplifies its signature. What's the benefit of that? Guys, let me know what the benefit of this is down in the comments. We're also gonna test this out in the next video. So just FYI. But yeah, let's go ahead and apply this because wow, I got an experimental effect. Oh my God, that's so cool. Experimental effect. Yes, okay. I'm I'm digging that. Let's see, our, our DPS went up a, a decent amount. Yeah, it's pretty good, 26%. Okay, that's a 15% increase. Our damage only decreased by 1%. Distributor draw, okay. Actually decreased by 11%. Rate of fire increased by 17%. Yeah, this is really good. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's apply this. Cool. And then we will do the next one. Here's, here's this. So you guys all pretty much know the drill. And we will preview outcome, view cost and generate, and... Generate. Please wait. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so this is this is a mid-range. Okay, that was that was pretty average. That was pretty average. Let's see. Our our mass increased. That's weird. And the power draw. Okay, so we didn't really get any amazing secondary effects there. And we got no experimental effects. Um, but that's okay. We got a 17% increase here. We got a 3% increase in damage. Okay, so why did it increase the damage with this one, but it decreased the damage with the previous one? That's weird. Huh. Okay. Whatever. You guys, let me know what the hell just happened with this. Why did it decrease the damage with the last one, but increase the damage with this? It's the same upgrade. It's the same upgrade. What, what the hell? Okay, but anyways, pretty average roll. So, better than sucky, not as good as great, but average. Okay, so let's apply it, and there we go. So, yeah, anyways. Now we've got two at grade three, and we've got one more at grade two that we're gonna upgrade to grade three, so let's do that, overcharged weapon. And some of you guys may be noticing that I actually have materials here for a grade four upgrade. Um, yeah. I totally do. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do that, though, because I want everything to be at the same grade all at one time. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. It would bother me if I had one grade four upgrade and everything else was at grade grade three. I don't know. It would be weird. It'd be weird. It'd just be weird. That's why I'm not doing it. Okay, so if you guys were wondering, that's why I'm not doing it. So I'm going to do my grade three overcharged weapon for this one, just like all the rest of them. And wow. Okay, what is up with this? It's going to make the distributor draw go freaking crazy but everything else is gonna go up a crap load okay i don't know whatever that's fine we're gonna do we're gonna do the upgraded grade three weapon chart or weapon focused distributor so i guess it'll probably be able to handle it but there is the possibility that this could increase too so let's preview cost and generate and generate here we go okay something good and another experimental effect would be really nice so you never know okay so all right that's all right, 14% increase, 7% increase in damage, and the distributor draw is gonna increase by 7%. Oh, look at that, okay. That was good, that was a good secondary, um, except my power draw just increased by 5%. Ah, weird. And the integrity decreased. And okay, we did not get an experimental effect for that one. Yeah, okay, so let's apply that. Um, yeah, okay, that's, 
that's not terrible. So the distributor draw only increased by 2%, but it looks like... Oh, I thought we had a mass increase in here. Did that go away? Maybe that went away. I'm not sure. Okay, whatever. So this is this is what we ended up with. So our thermal load is reduced. Everything looks pretty good. That's pretty good. So this is a pretty good... Uh, I think this is a pretty good attempt for our three multi-cannons. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and apply it. Okay. We did not actually achieve grade 5 access on this, but now we know that we can use bounty vouchers that we've collected just generally for the Alliance to increase our reputation with Todd the Blaster. So quite possibly the next round of upgrades we do at Todd the Blaster for our multi-cannons could be the grade 5 ones, guys. We might just skip grade 4 altogether since we're at 28% reputation with Todd the Blaster right now. So that would be really cool. I would be really excited to do that. So yeah, now... We're going to head to the Dweller's base, and we're going to be upgrading our power distributor to weapon-focused grade 3, and we're going to be upgrading the new pulse lasers to overcharged weapon grade 3, just like we did with the multi-cannons right now. So I will meet you guys at the Dweller's base, and I'll see you there in a minute. And welcome to Blackhide base, where we're going to be doing our grade 3 upgrades with the Dweller. So let's open up the Engineer's Workshop and we'll totally do that. Let's get on with doing our upgrades. So we're gonna do the power distributor first, and I've only got enough to do this once. I pretty much have enough to do everything once, so that's fine for me, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm really hoping that we're gonna get a decent outcome, and if we don't, well, that's, that's the luck of the draw, so whatever. Anyways, we're gonna do our grade three weapon-focused power distributor, so let's select that here. So the requirements are anomalous bulk scan data, we've got plenty of that it's really easy to come by guys you just you target a ship and there it is boom we've got hybrid capacitors these drop pretty frequently so that's easy to get and we've also got selenium which you guys saw me get in the last video and then nano breakers i actually had more nano breakers however this this is my bad this is just something that i messed up on this is not frontier's fault in any way i just didn't have enough cargo space in the python when i went out collecting uh, all these commodities with my Asp Explorer where I have quite a lot more cargo room. So when I went to transfer everything back over into my Python, I actually had to get rid of a whole bunch of commodities that I'd collected because it wouldn't let me switch ships back. So I had four things of nano breakers, but I had to slim down to the minimum. So that's completely my fault. I would have had more rolls, but I was I just I didn't think about the future. I just went out doing that before I really thought everything through it. And as a result, I only get one roll. So that's nobody's fault but mine. Anyways, let's just do this. Let's preview the outcome. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is not what I want. If I go back and I do that again, is it gonna change? Oh, it's gonna give me the same thing. That's not cool. So I mean, look at this. It could increase, but wow, look at this. It could decrease a crap load. Oh my god, what would be the point of that? What if I roll this and it sucks? I don't want to I don't want to do that. All my all my weapon ones are really good. Let's you know, let's actually do some pulse lasers first. How about that? And maybe when we go back to it it'll be different. I don't know. Maybe it could happen. Who knows. Okay, so overcharged weapon number 3 for our F2 turreted pulse lasers. So the components here are nickel, conductive components, and electrochemical arrays, and also those articulation motors that I mentioned in our multi-cannon upgrades, and this is why I had to save them, because we need them for this. So let's preview the outcome. Wow, that's a lot of bad crap. But the DPS and the damage are gonna go up significantly uh, regardless of pretty much anything else. Oh, and the rate of fire is going to increase, so I guess I'm okay with pretty much this stuff as long as it's not you know down here on the on the worst end okay so let's do this let's view cost and generate and we'll just see how this comes out so we have two of these to do so here we go here goes the first one fingers crossed generate okay please wait incoming and here we message. go oh i got an incoming message all right good dp yeah that's what i'm talking about oh look at that yes oh and this stuff is terrible that sucks a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got a little bit of reduced distributor draw there, but, you know, it still increases 53%. Oof. Oh, my gosh. Well, maybe I can get an experimental effect. Nope. Not going to get one. It's just going to stop out there in the middle of the freaking ocean. Okay. 
Well, that's fine. We got pretty good increases here. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. 39% increase in DPS, 25% increase in damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. 12% increase in rate of fire. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's apply that. So, boom, there we go. Okay, applied. And we've got one more pulse laser to do. We've got no upgrades applied to that because it's a nice, fresh one. So, let's select our overcharged weapon preview outcome. And uh, we've pretty much got the same margins here. So, let's hit view cost and generate. And then we will just generate. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Give me good results. Oh, oh, we got the minimum. No, that sucks. Maybe we'll get some secondary effects. Come on, secondary effects. Ah, uh, power draw, armor, armor piercing? Ah, damn. Damn. Well, it's still 31% and 20%. It looks like less because we see it at the bottom of where it could possibly increase, but that's actually, that's actually pretty good. That's, I'm not disappointed with that. I'm disappointed because the slider didn't go over so far. I'm not actually disappointed with the outcome. It, like, it looks worse than it is, really. So, okay, we'll go ahead and apply it. That's going to be pretty good, I think. So, okay, this distributor draw is worse than the other one. And we didn't get such a big rate of fire increase. But, yeah, it's okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll, we'll go ahead and apply it. So here we go. Now, hopefully, we're going to get a different set of variable stuff on our distributor. So let's see, no, oh man, this can decrease a lot. And if this decreases, I only have that one thing of nano breakers. Ooh, this, this could end up being really bad or really good. I don't know, I mean, hopefully it'll be really good. I'm, I'm, I'm very apprehensive about rolling this, guys. I'm a little nervous. Okay, okay, you know what? As long as you guys are here with me, we can do this. Good things can come of this. I only have one roll and I know you guys are gonna all D just like Goku, when he was trying to defeat Vegeta, he, he needed everyone's energy to use the spirit bomb. So that's what I need right now. I need you guys to send me your energy while I spirit bomb this thing into giving me a really good outcome, j even just on the weapons. Just weapons capacity and weapons recharge. That's all I need. All this other crap can go all the way in the red. I don't care. I just need the weapons. Just give me the weapons. Okay, so here we go. View cost and generate. I'm going to do this, guys. I need you guys with me. Here we go. All right. Generate. Oh, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it went in the red. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, it went up. It went up. Okay, that's not... It's not reduced. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's cool. Okay, the system's capacity went up. Wow. Oh, we got a big, huge boost on our shields. And yes, okay. Weapons recharge went up. Power draw. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, systems recharge. Oh, systems recharge sucks now. Our shields are gonna recharge really slowly. Okay, all right, good. Thank you guys. Thank you for all that good energy. That was uh, that was awesome of you guys. Okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna apply this. That's exactly what I needed. It didn't go up the maximum amount, but okay, we got a three percent increase. We got a four percent increase, and for our systems capacity, we just got an eleven percent increase. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So anyways, let's apply this and hopefully it's actually better than our grade two one. I really hope, I really hope I'm not like making it worse by overwriting my grade two um, weapon focus distributor. Uh, if I'm about to do that, let me know in the comments guys and, and then, well, I'll just feel disappointed about it. But anyways, I'm just gonna hit apply and hope for the best. So there we go. Okay, we've got all our weapons upgraded. We've got our power distributor upgraded and that's pretty much all we can do at the dweller. So we've got one more stop on this little upgrading excursion, and that's going to be at Elvira Martuk space, where we're going to be upgrading three different things. We're going to be upgrading our shield generator, we're going to be upgrading our thrusters, of course, and for the first time, we didn't actually do this before, but for the first time, we're going to be upgrading our frame shift drive, because this thing doesn't freaking jump very far and I want it to jump farther so we're going to be doing the grade 3 frame shift drive upgrade so I will see you guys at Elvira Martuk space oh and guys here's something else cool you may have heard that little incoming message notification well this is what it was important information on Lee Chung we've just learned about him so let's see you've learned some information about a new engineer Lee Chung check your log for more details all right let's let's delete that 
let's go over here and and just view engineers and we'll see uh, what we've got down here. So we've got Celine Jean, which we're going to get to later. But Lee Chung, we've just found out about this guy. Oh, and he can upgrade our shield boosters. Okay, so we're going to be doing that in the future. Let's see what we've got to do to unlock him. Okay, you learned about him from the Dweller and you gain access to him because you have traded in over 50 markets. Okay, so this guy wants us to do some trading. So that's going to be something coming up in the future. Anyways, cool. So I'll see you guys in just a minute at Elvira Martuk Space. And we've made it to Elvira Martuk Space. Now, you can increase your reputation with Elvira Martuk very easily by doing this. You can go to Universal Cartographics and sell your exploration data to Elvira Martuk. Now this is what I did to go from grade two to grade three. And since then, I've just been kind of hoarding all of my exploration data to save it up for this particular visit to Longsight Base. And so I've got 345,886 credits worth of data on this page. I don't, I don't know, maybe there's another page to sell. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And maybe we'll even get grade four access out of this. I don't really know, but I've only got grade three materials. So even if we do get grade four access, we'll, we'll only be doing grade three upgrades, pretty much the same as we did at Todd the Blaster. So let's sell this whole page and see what happens. Okay, and we've got an additional page for 120,000. Let's sell that. And that's all we can sell here. So let's open up the engineer's workshop and see what we've got. Wow, that really didn't actually do that much. We're only at 19%. So, okay, that didn't that didn't get us near as much rep with Elvira Martuk as the 1.3 million in bounty vouchers did with Todd the Blaster. So, that's weird. I don't know. But whatever. So, we're going to be doing the engines, we're going to be doing the shield generator, and we're going to be doing the frameshift drive. And not the shield cell banks, I guess. But she can only do a grade 1 upgrade to the shield cell bank. I don't know. Maybe we have materials for that. I don't know. Let's see after we've done everything else that's important here. So let's just start with the top. Let's do the engines. So we're going to do grade 3 dirty drive tuning. Ah, oh, sad shadow. Ah, oh, it turns out that Elvira Martuk can only go up to grade 2 for engine upgrades. I did not realize that when I was gathering materials for this upgrade. Wow, that's totally my bad. So I guess we're not going to be doing the engine upgrades right now. We're just going to be doing the shields and the frame shift drive. And I guess we're just going to hold on to the materials for the engine upgrades because we can use them in another engineer like Felicity Farseer or something like that. We'll have to unlock her, but we can do it. It's doable. We can do that in another video. But ah, oh, that's that's completely my bad. Again, that's nothing to do with Frontier. I, di I didn't do my research, guys. That's my fault. Okay, my bad. Let's move on. Let's start with the shield generator, and then we'll do the frame shift drive. So, okay, here we go. Now, she can do the grade 3 reinforced shields, so that's what we're going to do with this. Here we go. So, I might have more than one roll of this. I'm not sure. Let's do this and then do the frame shift drive, and if I still have enough stuff left over and the roll sucked, we'll do it again. But, you know, we could just get a good roll. So, the materials for this are phosphorus, conductive components, mechanical components, which I actually found in one of those new unidentified signal sources called Combat Aftermath. I found six units of it in one of those. And that was really nice because it was the first one I went in. And then magnetic emitter coils. And I have four of these. So we might actually have four attempts at this. I don't know. So let's do this. Preview outcome. And here's what can happen. So the optimal strength can only increase. Everything else has a possibility to decrease. I don't really like that. But hopefully everything will go up. I need everything to go up. And unlike with the grade 2 upgrade... The regen rate looks like it can actually increase with this. So that would be really nice if everything could just go into the blue. So let's do that. Now, again, we may have more than one roll at this. So let's just hit generate. And if this sucks, we can probably do it again. But we'll wait until after we've done the frame shift drive. So here we go. Generate. Okay, something good. Incoming something message. good. Oh, we've got incoming messages. Okay, I like messages. Messages sometimes bring good news in this game. So that's good. Okay, well, we got sucky regen rates. Uh, that's not necessarily terrible. Let's see what our secondary effects are. Oh, wow, look, the shield strength, or the optimal strength is all the way up, which is exactly the opposite of the thing that we got on the grade two. Okay, I'm liking that, and everything else is decently good. It's, yeah, okay. 
that's not bad. The regen rates, yeah, it could be better. It could be better. So maybe we'll do this again, maybe not, but let's go ahead and apply this, and then we'll do the frame shift drive. Okay, so yes, and frame shift drives. Now, Felicity can also do the grade five frame shift drive upgrade, so that would be really cool, but I don't have the materials or the reputation with her yet to do that. So we're just gonna be doing our grade three one today, and we're gonna do the increased range thing here. So this takes modular terminals, and again, I did have more modular terminals, but I already explained what happened earlier. So that whole thing, I forgot to put more cargo racks in this ship, so I had to get rid of some stuff. So I've only got one attempt at this. So here we go. We need phosphorus, chemical processors, strange wake solutions, which I got as mission rewards, but you can also just get these from using a wake scanner on, you know, high wakes or whatever. You can, you can get these pretty easily. Uh, anyways, so the rest of this stuff is pretty easy to get. The modular terminals are really the only thing that's fairly difficult to get because you can only get these as a mission reward, and missions that give these out just are random things that pop up. So if you see one, take it. Anyways, let's preview outcome. And we've only got one roll at this, so we really just need that optimized mass to go all the way up, just all the way up. I don't really care about anything else, really. Just I just need this all the way up. I've only got the one roll, so this has to be good. So guys, I need that spirit bomb power again, so let's do this. Please lend me all of your energy for the spirit bomb of the, the RNG spirit bomb, guys. That's, that's what it is. It's going to be the RNG spirit bomb, so let's do this. Here we go. RNG spirit bomb, guys. Generate. Okay, here we go. RNG spirit bomb. Okay. And our, yeah, 25% increase. All right. Oh, okay, and the thermal load went down a little bit. That's that's cool. Okay. Hey, look, increased boot time. Cool. All right. I'm happy with that. We got 25% increase. Okay, the power draw went up 12%. Yeah, whatever. I think we can handle it because we switched the beam lasers to pulse lasers and they take less power. So that should be fine. Let's go ahead and apply this. So cool. Let's apply it, and then let's hit back, and there's an outfitting screen right here. So we can just go in here. All right, guys, look at this. It has increased our maximum jump range to 18.71 light years. That is freaking amazing. And even our minimum has increased to 17.85 light years. I am ecstatic about that. I am so happy about that. Okay, great. Yeah, we got pretty good outcomes for everything. I'm really happy with what just happened. That was great. Okay, so Frontier is, is pretty much getting on their shit with this next round of patches that they've been doing. And I'm much more happy with, with the results that I just got per my time investment in, in collecting the resources. That was that was pretty good. I was happy with that. I'm happy with what just happened. I'm, I'm reasonably impressed with what just happened. So we're going to end this video here. And that's going to be it for part B. And then we'll do part C, where we actually test this stuff out and see how it performs. And, I mean, we can't really test the frame shift drive. You guys saw how that's going to perform. It's not going to jump different distances each time. So that. But we're going to test everything else out. And that's going to be awesome. So that will be the next video that we do. And, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Cool. Stick a like on it if you liked it. Stick a dislike on it if you thought it was dumb. And Okay, anyways, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And that is it for me. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in part C in the next one.